Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topics 17.2 mitosis and 17.3 meiosis. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For this lesson which is only for those of you taking the extended course you need to describe and state the roles of mitosis, describe the roles of stem cells and describe meiosis and its role in the production of gametes. Mitosis can be defined as nuclear division giving rise to genetically identical cells. Before a cell divides by mitosis, the chromosomes contained within the nucleus replicate, producing two exact copies of each chromosome. The copies of chromosomes then separate, maintaining the chromosome number in each daughter cell. This means that mitosis of a human body cell containing 46 chromosomes will result in the formation of two identical daughter cells, each with 46 chromosomes. Now mitosis is essential for growth as it enables organisms to increase in size by producing new cells. It also plays an important role in healing or the repair of damaged tissues, the continual replacement of old worn out cells and in asexual reproduction, that is the production of genetically identical offspring from one parent. Stem cells are unspecialized cells in the body that divide by mitosis to produce daughter cells that can become specialized for specific functions. For example, hematopoietic stem cells are a type of adult stem cell found in bone marrow. They divide continually to produce a range of blood cells, including red blood cells, phagocytes, and lymphocytes. Okay, so that's everything you need to know about mitosis, so we'll move on now to look at another type of cell division called meiosis. Meiosis is a reduction division in which the chromosome number is halved from diploid to haploid, resulting in genetically different cells. Meiosis is involved in the production of gametes and therefore occurs in the testes and ovaries in mammals and in the anthers and ovules of flowering plants. For more on this, check out my video on topic 16.3. Gametes, unlike other cells, are haploid, meaning they have half the normal number of chromosomes. In humans, a sperm and egg cell, each containing 23 chromosomes, fuse during fertilization to form a diploid cell with a total of 46 chromosomes. Cell division by meiosis therefore prevents the chromosome number from doubling each time an organism reproduces sexually. After fertilization, the diploid zygote continues to divide by mitosis, meaning the chromosome number in each each subsequent daughter cell is maintained. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topics 17.2 and 17.3, mitosis and meiosis. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 17.4, monohybrid inheritance.